Hello! Today we are going to read a short story for winter days in the big woods. It's in the forest. What, what, what do you think it's going to be like? We don't know. So once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. So, there he, she is in the little cabin. Cabin is over here. Laura lived in the house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her big sister Carrie, and the good old boat dog Jack. Winter was coming to the big woods. Soon the little house would be covered with snow. Pa went hunting every day so, so that they would have meat during the long cold winters. The dad is going hunting for the animals to survive over the winter. And the cabin is in the background. I don't like the cabin over here. Because that is gone. My Laura and Mary gathered potatoes and carrots, beets and turnips, cabbages and onions and peppers and pumpkins from the garden next to the little house. See, this is the garden, and this is where the flowers are being picked, and this is the dog, bull, the hog, dog, bull, dog, jack. They're like getting the harvest. By the time winter came, the little house was full of good things to eat. Laura and Mary taught the attic was a lovely place to play. They played house by using the raw, round orange pumpkins as tables and chairs, and everything was snug and cozy. See? Soon the first snow came and it was very cold. In the morning the windows were covered with beautiful frost pictures of trees and flowers and fairies. Ma said that Jack Frost might Jack Frost came in the night and made the pictures while everyone was asleep. Laura and Mary were allowed to use my timber to make pretty patterns in circles in the forest. See? Is it is now and this is it... you see? In the morning, Laura and Mary helped Ma wash the dishes and make the beds. After this was done, Ma began to work that belonged to that day. Each day, it own proper work. Ma would say, wash on Monday, iron on Tuesday, mend on Wednesday, churn on Thursday, clean on Friday, 
bake on Saturday and rest on Sunday. What is this? The list. And this is she, is she cleaning up, I think. No, that's true. Lorm like the churning and baking days, best of all. Ma had to churn the cream for a long time until it turned into butter. Mary could, could sometimes churn while Ma rested, rested, but Laura was too little. See? Let's see what happens next. On Saturday, Mom made the bread. Laura and Mary each had a little piece of donut. No, a piece of dough to make into a little loaf. I even gave them a little bite of cookie dough to make little cookies. They're cooking. After the day work was done, Mom would sometimes cut the, out paper dolls for Laura and Mary. She drew their faces on a pencil and cut dresses, hats, and ribbons out of colored paper so that Mary and Laura could could dress the dolls beautifully. He but the best time of all was at night. When Pa came home, he would draw off his fur cap and coat and mittens and call, where's my little half print? of sweet cider I have jumped up. That was Laura because she was so small. See, the dad is here. This is Laura, I think. I don't know. Sometimes, Pa would take down his fiddle and sing Pa would keep time with his foot. Laura and Mary would clap their hands to the music when he sang. And he do do when the town. He wore his right choice. He swore he couldn't see the town. There were so much horse houses. They did it to die playing the uh, guitar and they just learn Mary and they did the little kid and the boat's dog enjoying. Other times, Pa would tell stories. When Laura and Mary begged him for stories, he would take them on his knees and tickled their faces with his long whiskers until they laughed out loud. His eyes were blue and merry. See, they're having a good time, right? Outside it was cold and snowy, but the little dog came and was snugged and cozy. Pa, Ma, Laura, and Mary, and baby Carrie was comfortable and happy in the little house in the big woods. See? A comfortable, right? You see? And the end. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Goodbye. And we will get a story next time.